Today, I'm going to cover how to accelerate your growth as a talent-centric organization, or as I call it, a TCO. It's possible that you're experiencing any or all of the following issues related to talent and recruiting. First, you're having trouble finding the right people. Secondly, if and when you find the right people, you're having trouble closing them. And third, you're experiencing turnover or churn. If you're running a business and you're experiencing these issues, the problem isn't actually recruiting. Recruiting is just a symptom of a bigger problem, which is one of alignment. Solving this problem will directly increase your profits inside your business, and I'm going to tell you how to solve them. But first, I want to tell you a little bit about the three core principles of a TCO. First, it's leadership working under an aligned vision everyone can articulate. It's a focus on your people. Everything you do drives better experiences for your people, which includes the C-suite. Secondly, it has built-in blind spot awareness from established feedback loops. This is really about shifting how you think and therefore how you work. And it begins at the leadership team and trickles down throughout the organization. Finally, it's a talent development strategy from recruiting to succession and succession beyond the C-suite. This includes building diversity so that you don't suffer from groupthink. The biggest impediments to this are thinking that you actually have a recruiting and retention problem when you really have a strategy problem. Secondly, leadership not being open to change and growth, meaning they're emotional and having an emotional and a mindset growth, that will also limit you being a talent-centric organization. And finally, not having a culture of feedback within your organization. So step one is to do discovery with your executive team to determine the gaps in alignment. And you're going to ask a series of questions of each individual. Um, those are, what's the vision uh, of the company as you understand it? How would you describe our culture? What department or function in the company do you believe is most important to the success of the organization as a whole? What does culture of feedback mean to you? As an employee, what type of management style best supports you? How would you describe your management style? And would your direct reports agree with that? And finally, as the CEO, I will be asking you, how would you describe my leadership style? What would you like me to be doing differently? Okay. Once you discover the gaps in alignment, then it's time to close them. And those are done... It's done in a number of ways. It's done through coaching, um, leadership development, communication training. Uh, there are a number of different things that you can put in place to help your leadership team become aligned and then move that throughout the organization. So once you're well on the way to alignment, then it's time for you to put a talent strategy in place to support what you've learned. And what this looks like will depend on really what type of an organization you are, the size of your organization, but it, it would include, could include any of the following. You may have internal recruiters, uh, and likely if you do, you need to train them on what it is to be a professional headhunter. Uh, you could use agency recruiters. Uh, the type of agency recruiter you use, it's, I find that to be one of the most difficult challenges for companies because you know, many have had experiences just working with horrible agency recruiters. And then, of course, there's the contract recruiter route. And, and you also need to make sure those recruiters need to know what they're doing. Um, and that strategy needs to take place not just within your recruiting department, but your, your leadership, whoever's hiring, needs to understand how to go about working with these individuals so that it's a partnership. Right? We are all, it's to everyone's benefit to get the best people in, to do it in a manner that works for all of us, etc. So if you have any questions about this process or want my help in turning your organization into a TCO, click the link in the description and book a call with me. And of course, don't forget to like the video, comment if it was helpful to you, and subscribe uh, for future videos and podcast episodes.